Inter-Island cargo carrier Young Brothers says it needs an unprecedented 34% rate hike to survive. So what could that mean for residents and businesses? Gina Mangieri is always investigating and press the company and regulators for answers. Gina? Well, Young Brothers has not turned a profit since 2017, with losses mounting. Now, at the same time, they poured $88 million into new tugs and equipment, but cut back on things like service hours, leaving customers and their regulators with concerns. In a filing thousands of pages long, Young Brothers is making its case for why the Public Utilities Commission should grant the request for the rate increase, expected to bring in $27 million in extra fees from customers. They say they need it to make up for more than $20 million in losses in the past two years, projected to worsen. Even given the levels of service that are happening now to frustrated customers, you know, what would you say when they look at it and say, and you want me to pay more? when there's been some some belt tightening already I right I understand I understand where customers are coming from we're doing the best that we can to provide the best service that we can the volume of inter-island cargo that young brothers carries has declined and young brothers tells the PUC that unregulated competition is eroding business young brothers contends the hike should be looked at as a reset and does not constitute rate shock there will be few to probably no one watching at home whose pay, whose income is going to go up 34% in this coming year. How can the consumers possibly afford what it could be coming to them, especially on the neighbor islands? Well, I think, you know, for the consumer, the costs that are going to be passed on to them are most likely marginal. It will likely be a smaller percentage of the overall cost of shipping. We are the only water carrier whose services Molokai and Lanai is really critical that we stay in service. The barge carrier says a container could cost an extra $250 to move between islands. A small car could cost $66 more. I asked state regulators how their review will go. The PUC chairman told me the agency will conduct a thorough examination to determine whether Young Brothers' request is reasonable. Now, public hearings are expected to take place on each island, likely in early 2020. And the PUC's consumer advocate will also weigh in before any decision. The whole process is expected to take about a year. A link to the full docket and how you can submit comments is on our website at khon2.com. Back to you.